Okay, the indoor thermometer says 96.3. I can feel some heat coming in because of the portable AC. Because that gets warm. So I probably should consider covering it with the Reflectix I brought down to do that with. But I wanted to get some work done. So that thing says it's actually 91. You get in the center and you do get a cool breeze from the back AC, which says 60. Oh, but it's still pretty warm. And I'm working at the hottest point of the day. I mean, I'm going to call it quits for the day. What I did was I got some wood putty. I got two of these containers because they're pretty small. And I'm puttying up all the holes in the wood. And then when that dries, I will sand it down and we'll be prepping for painting. But wow. <laughs> lots of holes. Lots of lots and lots of nail holes. He hung a lot of stuff in here. So, but uh, we'll get it taken care of. Whew, doesn't feel too bad in the bathroom because the AC is blowing right on my back. Ah, it feels so good. Oh, don't go away, AC. I'm running my generator. Actually, I bought a little carbon monoxide detector because of the generator being outside. I just wanted to be on the safe side and make sure that the generator wasn't fuming in through the AC and it's not so that's a good thing and uh, of course I spackled all this so that all that will have to be sanded as well but you know it's been a while since I've been able to work in here because it's it just got too hot so <laughs> and I have such a mess going on. I really, really, really need to clean this out. It's, start, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely driving me crazy. But anyhow, I've, I'm done for the day. I can still smell the cigarette smoke, so I definitely do have to kill this place when I paint it, before I paint it. But that's okay. One step at a time. I can't believe I've been working on this for this many months. I was hoping to be done by now, or close to being done. But then the heat set in. You know, I had the therapy, and I had the dog sitting, and I had my job, and then the heat set in. So then I had to go and get my portable AC to set up in here just so I could work. I also had to pour some bleach down the black tank. You know, I don't recommend doing that, but uh, like I said, this tank was never drained. And the solids are building up, and uh, somebody came down wanting to... He has a silver streak also. Oh, that was weird. He has a silver streak also, and he wanted to kind of get a good look at what the flooring and such was like underneath it all. So, but uh, he took the cap off and it stunk. So I decided, okay, time to pour more bleach down there. I hate to do that because it's not good for the seals and everything in an RV. But man, that odor, not fun either. Here's what I'm working with today, 90 degrees, 39% humidity. It's 96 outside, so it's a little bit cooler today. If you want to consider 96 as cooler. Yeah, the portable AC says 90, and of course the one in the back, I'm sorry about that, is set on 60. And uh, we are doing wood putty today. I'm finishing up the wood putty. When I'm done, then I'll go ahead and shut everything down and let it set for a few days so I can come back and sand it down. And uh, of course I did spackling on the ceiling. So, and um, this big spot right here would not take the putty at all. It would not stick to it. 
So I might try the spackle. It won't, you know, couldn't hurt to try it, right? So anyhow, back to work with me. Turn my fan back on so I can get the air flowing. Okay, I was going to uh, call it a day about an hour ago. And I thought, nah, stick around, get the job finished. And that's what I did. So let's hope that this sticks and that it um, sands down well and evenly. The quality of this video is not so great because it's kind of darkish in here. But yeah, there were a lot, a lot of, that's a lot of spackling. That is a lot of spackling. There were a lot of nail holes. So, and of course that right there is where the old fixture gets back quick put back on to so that uh, that stays the way it is. So there you go. That is the episode of spackling and wood puttying the silver streak. Woo! And uh, yeah, I'm ready to call it a day. I've been down here several hours. This fan fortunately has helped incredibly. It is now 89 according to that. And almost 91 according to that. 100 degrees outside. Woo! That's hot. Okay, so I'm shutting it down and going home, take a shower, and call it a day. So, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And live the life you love. Love y'all. Bye bye.